DC Nation, what is up? We're back with another video on Young Justice Fat Songs. It's say on Shane episode 18, titled Beyond the Grip of the Gods. Now that is one epic title. It gets me super excited. And yeah, this is supposed to be the start of an all new Rockets focused storyline. Yep, Rockets. The character who teams up with Icon in Milestone Comics, and she's shown up a few times on the show, but she's never been prominent. So I was surprised that we're actually a storyline focused on her. There's a lot of potential here. I hope she actually is in the focus. I hope it's not okay, they're marketing it as a rocket focused storyline, but something different. I'm actually happy she's getting the focus. Like, there's a lot of potential in her character. And yeah, we'll see where this storyline goes. Maybe we'll get more of Apocalypse. Like, the story is really starting to progress. With last episode showing Vandal Savage. Finally getting angry like he's against the Lords of Order. He is pissed off and I feel like a war is about to begin like Vandal Savage probably could be knocking on Darkseid's door He's gonna be like all right Earth they're the heroes the Justice League It's time we team up and really take them down like I hope that's where the story's going If that's where the story's going then we're in for one epic showdown Okay, Dakota City, starting out with so rockets. Okay. Okay, mommy. No one's denying he's intelligent, Raquel, but that doesn't change the fact that the specialists have diagnosed him with autism. Mm, they they diagnosed him with autism, really? I'm betting that kid is smart. They're just get him the help he needs. Not today. I, I'm already late. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Dude, this theme always gets me hyped. Let's go. We have very soft opening, just showing Rock and her son. Dude, Beyond the Grip of the Gods is such a cool title. Like, this episode has to go in a more epic direction, if that's the title. Uh, no, hey, no, Jake no, Eric! Hmm. Oh, and Forge, sure. Is Flash ready to stretch Flash's legs for hmm. Flash's first mission as a Justice Leaguer? Wait. Yeah, it's nice being the new kid for a change. Wait, this is oh, the first boy, time Shay Garrick is on the Justice League? That's Come interesting. He's used to it though. He's on the Justice Society of America. Or just the Justice Society, but. Justice League meets the new gods, meets the Green Lantern Corps. Yeah. Big old hero summit. A surefire hoot. Hmm. Hoot? You heard me. I like the voice actor they got for Jay Garrick. Like it matches him. I'm sure what to tell Rocket. Forager has not been to Forager's homeworld in over a year, mm -hmm. and Forager has never been to Supertown before. I'll run a search pattern. Mm, yeah, yeah, there we go. Light Ray and Jake Eric. Larvae favor common larvae trails. Where would mountain larvae? Dude, I'm so happy that Jake Eric is in this storyline. All the only thing we need else is the Green Lancer. It's like one Green Lan. Oh, Dark Side. I was tasked with. And Calabash. I ask you to fulfill your promise. Mm. Darkseid is neither amused nor impressed. Let's go. For Ox impudence, but complete one final task for your dread lord. Dread lord. Granted your okay. I await Darkseid's command. Mantis, approach with the Kaiser thrall. Hmm. Mantis. I assume you observe. Show yourself. Who waits? Mmm. Um, what is Who is this? This do? is the person Dark that instructs both Mantis and Maala Faak to follow this one's orders mm. as if they were dark. Who is this guy? This is the guy that caused the explosion of Mars and sent Connor Kent to the Phantom I Zone. Know Mantis. Mm. Who are you? I am Lord. Lord Zod? Lord Zod? What? 
What? What? Dude, Dark Side looks so dope. Hold up, Lord Zod, what is he doing there? What, what are the Zods doing working with Dark Side? Okay, that's a pause. Pause. Bro, okay, that just started pause real quick. Usually I don't pause episodes because I want to keep it going. But, bro, Lord Zod? What is he doing there? And why did he cause the explosion? Say Connor catches the Phantom Zone. Why is he messing with the timeline? Is he trying to bring the Zods back? Why is he working with Darkseid? What is Darkseid doing? Man. Okay, we got like five up, five minutes left of this episode. Let's see if we get any of those answers to these questions. Like, I hope we do. Man, that got me hyped. All right, let's get it. Oh, they should not be messing with that. Uh, come on, dude. Stop what you're doing and return yeah. the eruption cell to me. They should not been using the eruption cell. Oh, oh no, dude. They see they don't know how to control it, and they messed up Orion. Like he got hit. Yeah. Oh, oh, jeez. Do we just smack some kids? Dude, Orion got angry. Smacked two kid foragers. Oh my God, he's tr oh, damn. Dude, Orion, he is a dog of war. He is hardcore, man. It's gone crazy. Mm, come on, come on. Yeah. There you go, Jake, Eric. Mm. Uh, he's claustrophobic, that's why. So whenever he's insane, he gets angry. There we oh, he's going to attack. Mm. Dude, the dark side side of Orion is coming out. Good news, he's been calmed, but he can cause a reckoning when he's in that state. Mmm. Yeah, apologies. You need more than an apology. Rocket's like, I, I don't trust you. Like, if I was sir, I'd be like, man, I'm not working with this guy. He's gonna end up killing me because how... Just not... Oh, Metron. Mm, dude, the sound of the boom too when it arrives is so epic. Another inheritance from my biological father. Yeah. Dark side, he's got those same traits. By the way, kid, good job. Rocket does know that Orion is the son of Dark Side, right? I wish I had done as well. I totally froze up at the clutch. Don't be so hard on yourself. Everyone's safe after all. That doesn't cut it. I've got to lead negotiations tomorrow. Yeah. I'll be negotiating with a monster. Yep. She's gonna be negotiating with the monster. Orion. To shed this last burn. No, don't do it, Connor. He needs know. Phantom Girl. What don't you know? Mm, Talking to yourself or someone else? I'm guessing the latter, which means you're suffering from zone sickness, hallucinating. Zone we sickness? How do I know you're not a hallucination? Because mm. we've never seen each other before. Yeah, who is this I guy? I don't recall ever seeing you. Do I look familiar? Hmm. No. Well, that's because is I'm real. That? Or as real as anything gets around here. I'm real. You're real. Mm. And that girl you're carrying is real. Is that Zod? Because Anyone he's stuck in the Phantom a... Zone. Yeah. I can teach you how to survive. Um. I am the Superboy. I am the Superboy. If you say so. Mm. My name's Drew, by the way. Mm. Drew Zod. General Truzad. Wow, General Zod, the Phantom Man. Okay, okay, that's that. That's dope. 
Every candidate up here would make mm. a fine recruit into our new Justice League reserves. Justice League oh, reserves. Actually, they were talking about this in a prior episode. Okay, dude, they got Clayface on there? What the heck is Clayface doing and showing the Justice League? Adam Strange. And China has, well, whatever it is they're not telling us they have. Delphi's, Manzandu, the Guardians. We barely scratched the surface in Roy I Harper, so Arsenal. City, perhaps. We also want to create cooperative plans of action with Mars and maybe Thanagar. Mars and, and Thanagar. And Will we see Thanagar get involved? And Oa as well. Oa. The real question is Markovia. Mm, Markovia. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't really care about Markovia. That's the least interesting setting out of, of all of them. Reserve mission to cost us the trust we've worked so hard to build. Hmm. Okay. That was actually a good end credits. Well, while the credits are going, just Superman, Black Lightning talking about the Justice League Reserves. I like that actually a lot. But, man, what a good episode. Like, that was a great episode. How we, like, progressed the plot and, uh, yeah, just the reveals. The reveal of Lord Zod, the guy who's messed with the timeline, caused the death of Connor Kent, or caused Connor Kent to go to the Phantom Zone, and now he's working with Mala Kalak, or I can't say his name, the White Martian, that's what I'm gonna say. Like, I could probably say his name if I heard it again, but right now, it's try to do it from memory, I can't. But, we got the White Martian, Mantis, and Lord Zod. They're going to mess with the timeline even more, following Darkseid's orders. Seeing Darkseid and Calabac in this episode was great. And yeah, just how they set things up. And that subplot with Connor Kent, him in the Phantom Zone, being just tempted by Lex Luthor and Lex getting his head. We got to see more of the background of Connor Kent, how he's half Superman, half Superboy, or not half Superboy, half Superman, half Lex Luthor, and just seeing Lex be like, hey, do this for me, my son. And at the end, seeing that Connor Kent has like a zone sickness as he's trying to survive and trying to keep Phantom Girl alive as well, but now he's got help. The help of General Drew Zod. General Zod. Bro, that got me hyped. That ending, I was kind of wondering, because he was like, I'm real, you're real. That lady you're carrying, Phantom Girl, is real as well. Like, we're all real. And Connor Kent's like, how I know you're not a hallucination? And General Zod's like, well, we haven't seen each other before, so you wouldn't hallucinate about me. But I'll introduce myself. General Drew Zod. Just how the reveal was set up and how the episode ended with them facing each other in the Phantom Zone. Now they're going to work together. Man, and the fact that, okay, maybe this General Zod is actually a good guy. Maybe he's evil. We don't know. But we may get a fight between Drew Zod and Lord Zod by the end of the season. Or maybe we'll see them work together. Maybe they're on the same team. I don't know. But the fact that the Zods are now involved in the storyline with Darkseid just makes it even more epic. And it gets me excited for a showdown that will eventually happen. Like that end credit scene showing the Justice League Reserves... They're gonna need it, like, Earth is gonna need the Just League in full force to fight against Darkseid, the Zods, the White Martians, and the fact that they're trying to get Thanagar, the Green Lancer Corps. We make it an epic showdown by the end of the season, like, it's setting up that way, and I am so hyped for that. Now, aside from those big plot moments, like, just those big plot progressions, we get the main plot with Rocket, she was in focus, she went to New Genesis, and seeing her work with Orion, Jay Garrick, I really liked Jay Garrick's presses in this episode, he didn't do a lot, but he was enjoyable, he had some good lines, seeing him work with Light Ray, I like that team up, but we really got to see Rocket and Orion work together, yep, Orion, seeing Orion this episode, also High Father, High Father was cool, but Orion was really in the focus as much as Rocket, Rocket had the opening scene, she met with Orion, Ryan. They tried to get the Ruction cell from the Foragers, and it was a good plot. But what I really like is just Orion going crazy. He's a dog of war, and him just going, trying to hit kids, hit the Foragers, like the young Foragers. Him go crazy, show that state of him that connects to his father, Dark Side. He really unleashed his Dark Side form in this episode. Like it showed. And at the end, where Rocky is like, 
uh, I don't know if I want to do this. I'm going to have to negotiate with a monster or Ryan. Like, that gets me excited to see how that will happen next episode. Will Rocket be able to negotiate with Orion? Or will Ryan screw it all up? Because he has claustrophobia. He has dark sides. Just angriness. Like, just him getting angry and getting out of control. Like, Orion struggles to be calm. Like, he would not have been calm if Light Ray did not show up. Like, Light Ray really saved Rocket because I don't think Rocket would have been able to be Orion with him at full force he would have knocked her out but yeah guys great episode a great start to this new story arc and yeah I'm gonna give this episode a 9 out of 10 I highly recommend it you guys some of your thoughts on this episode down below what you think about it what you think about Lord Zod being the one causing all these timeline issues getting the leech of superheroes to come back in time what do you think about the general Zod reveal at the end and what are your theories for the rest of this Rocket's centric story arc? But yeah, guys, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs. Something you should make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Young Justice Phantoms reaction and review. And yeah, thanks for watching and peace out.